Okay, welcome to this tutorial for West Point Bridge Designer. I'm going to show you how to use the program, how to get set up with the first two bridges here. And I'm going to actually show you how to get to below 285,000 for the first bridge. Okay, this is a pretty simple program once you understand the basics of how it operates. All right, so let's just take a minute and look at this document. Go ahead and read the objective to yourself. So the objective, the objective states to use West Point Bridge Designer to build a working bridge for the lowest cost. If you look here, part A tells you to des uh, design a through truss prep below 285,000 and a deck truss prep below 285,000 as well. B, you'll be using a suspension bridge and a cable state bridge with different prices, 320,000, 275,000. And then C, at least at the time of this recording, we use as a competition in class to see who can make the lowest bridge, the lowest bridge cost possible for a continuous arch prep and a continuous arch warring. Okay, let's go over the instructions really quick before we get into the program. So if we look here, these are the instructions for setting up the first two bridges. One and two are basically just asking you to read the design requirements, click next, and then two is asking you for a, uh, a local bridge contest, which we're not going to add. So one and two are we're just going to click next and click through those. When we get to part three here, we will do deck elevation, support configuration, the piers if we have them, and the cable anchorage if we have that as well. Four will be deck material. In this case, it's medium strength concrete. Loading is standard truck. And then we get to five, we get to select one of the two bridges. If we're working on the Pratt through, that's this one right here. If working on the Pratt deck, that's this one down here. Okay, and then we do the enter your name design by and then leave the project ID blank and then click finish. Okay, that is the basics of the instructions. Let's actually get to the program. If you don't see the program down here, we're going to click here and just type in bridge. and It should pop up I'm going to click open. And let the program open up. When looking at this, it's going to uh, look a little bit complex at the beginning because there's a lot of stuff to see. But once you start getting into it, it's actually quite simple. If the design tip pops up, just click close. And then we look at this pop up that says Welcome to Bridge Designer 2016. The name used to be West Point Bridge Design. They just changed the name of it. Okay. So here's a couple things to look at. Uh, we're going to be creating a new bridge today so that, that's already selected for us, which is great. Load a sample bridge we never really use, so don't worry about that. And then load an existing bridge. So if you have one saved, this is where you're going to go to load an existing bridge. If you don't, if you're, if you're starting off and you're just creating a new bridge, this is where you should be. All right, let's go to OK. So now we get to the actual project itself, right? We see one, read the design requirements. If we look down here, right, we talked about how one and two, we're just going to kind of skip through real quick. OK, so one. We don't need to No, we're never going to enter a bridge contest. And now we get to where we start selecting stuff. And this will change depending on the bridge that we're doing. Thankfully, the first bridge, everything's almost pre-selected for us. So it's pretty simple. The deck elevation is 24 meters, right? The standard abutment, no piers, no cable anchorage. That's everything that you see under number three here. It's already uh, selected by default. So we can just go ahead and click next. Now, if you're doing the other bridges on B or C, you're going to have to change some of that information. Deck material, medium strength concrete is already defaulted. And so is standard truck. Click next. Now, this is where we decide what type of bridge we are going to do. OK, so the through truss dash Pratt, if you look here, right, the, the Pratt through, right, is the first one we are working on. So let's give that one. Let's select that one and let's give it a go. Click next. Design by, you're going to do your last name. 
underscore first name. All right, and depending on the class, uh, the school year, I might have you put down your, your period or your class color or your, your grade. Okay, so just go by whatever I give you in, in class, whatever instructions you get in class to label this. So I'm just going to say color for this one, so class color, and then uh, Pratt through. And click finish. Now we get to the actual designing of the bridge. There's two sides here. There's the left side, which is the physical bridge we can see here that we're going to be making in, 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 the, in the digital world. And then there's some load test results, which aren't filled in yet, but they will be in a minute. Here we have tools, right? We have joints, members, our selection tool, and then our erase tool. Okay. If this box isn't here or somehow it disappears, if you go up to your view and just click tools, it'll pop back up for you. Okay. Let's just talk about the things you'll be looking at up here. You have file, what you're going to be using to save or save as. Okay. Uh, load. Uh, I'm sorry, open, excuse me. Open is where you're going to open up existing files that you already have if you didn't do it in, in the, the first window that popped up. This is where we test. This isn't going to come up right now because we have nothing set up, but this is where we test our, our bridge to see what it looks like, okay, and see if it works. We also have um, our cost here. So remember on this, it says get below 285000 This is where the cost comes in, all right? We've got our member size. We can increase the size or we can decrease the size. And then of course, like I said before, we've got the load test results over here. Now this sheet, if you wanna just get rid of it, you can click on this here and you can temporarily get rid of it. We will need this. So it's not something that I would suggest working without, but if you wanna just make the screen a little bit bigger, you can definitely do that temporarily just to kind of you know help you out if your, if your screen is smaller. All right, so I'm just going to get rid of the test results for right this minute. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add the joints. So here it's, it's already pre-selected. As you can see here, the kind of like the crosshairs that you see, there's circles here. One there, one there, one there, one there, right? It just keeps going across. Here, where those circles are, is where we're going to click and add the joints. Okay. So those joints are added there. And I'm going to bring this, this screen back just for a quick second because I want you to see something here. Now we're going to add the members. And I'm just going to click and drag and release. And you notice how all these bars were added on here. Okay. Each one of these bars has a number to them. And we'll get into that later, What you know why that's important. But this is bar 17. It tells me the length of it, the size, cross-section. Okay. All this stuff isn't really that important. What's going to be important is what we see over here, but we'll get to that in a minute. Okay. And let's just continue filling in all these members. And as you fill in the members, you're going to see on the right side how all of these are being filled in one by one by one. And here's what I want you to keep in mind. Uh, my number one might not be your number one. Okay whatever, like my 17, right, is right here. That might not be your 17. That's fine. It doesn't make a difference. It just goes in the order that you created it. It's not important by any means, okay? So if you're looking at it and say, hey, my number one is different than your number one, don't worry about it, okay? That's completely fine. That does happen, all right? So now what we're going to do is now we get to test our bridge. But I want to show you just um, something that might happen to some of you, right? If you go to test your bridge and you get this error and it says your structural model is unstable, that just means you forgot something or maybe you put a joint someplace where it shouldn't go. Or basically what it's saying is the bridge is not completed enough where it can actually test it to see if it'll even work. OK, so if you get this error, hit the close, look back here and be like, oh, look, you know, these little lines that we used to connect with, they just weren't completed. OK, so that's why those are missing. And that's why we got those uh, that error. So now we're going to test it right here. And what this does is this shows us our bridge. And there's a truck that will pop up over here. There it is. The, the truck is going to try to cross the bridge. What I want you to notice is in the animation, right, notice how these are, these are different colors. This is red. This is blue, right? And some of them are brighter than others, okay? 
The reason for that is that they are showing the level of stress that they are under, okay? So when we clicked on this here, we basically just said, hey, run this test and let's see what happened. Now, when we come back to here, we're gonna see that all of these are highlighted, right? With either red or blue. Red means that it failed under compression and blue means that it failed under tension, okay? And really quick, just in case you're wondering, you don't have to watch the animation every time. You can just click here and click back and it'll give you the same result, okay? You don't have to watch the animation if you're, if you're short on time and you just wanna see if something works real quick, just click there, click back, it'll work for you. Now let's get into like the difficult part, right? And that is getting this number to where we want it. Now the goal for us here is 285,000. Unfortunately, we're at 330,000. That's not very good. All right. So what a lot of students want to do is they just say, well, let's get the bridge working first and let's just see if, if we can if we can at least fix the problems and then try to get it lower, which is perfectly fine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold on the control key. If you look at, down on your keyboard, the very lower left key says CTRL. That's the control key. I'm going to press that down and I'm holding it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all of the ones that have these red dashes or blue dashes, right? Okay. And I've just selected all the ones that failed. So remember red failed because of compression, blue failed because of tension. Now let's just say I didn't want to do it that way. I can click here and do it as well, right? It's, you know, hold on control, click, or I can click and drag and I can do it that way. Okay. There's a bunch of different ways to highlight them. What we're going to do is they failed because the, the these pieces were too weak, which means they were too small. So if you look up here, we have to make the member size bigger. How much bigger? Well, well, we have to figure that out. I don't know. Okay. So let's click this one, two, three times. And what this did was when I clicked it, I don't know if you saw up here, but the price went up. Okay. If I click it this way, the price goes down. Okay. Price goes up. So by making it bigger, you make it more expensive. By making it smaller, you make it cheaper. Here's the thing. If I make it more expensive, it might not meet the requirement of 285,000. If I make it cheaper, the bridge might fail and it might not work. So we have to find a happy medium. Here, if we look, I just moved it up to 330,000. Now, I don't know if this is gonna work, but let's try it. Let's see if the, if the truck can cross the bridge. Oh no, it still failed. That's not good. So let's look back here and figure out what failed. Okay, all of these failed. I'm going to hold on control, click here, click here, and I'm going to go one, two, three. Now, I just picked three. You could do four. You could do two. I just clicked it three times, right? Let's test it and let's see if it works. Oh, boy, that in the middle there, that looks like it's going to fail. Let's see if it actually does. Oh, whoa. Oh, boy. Oh, it fell right there. Okay, that's not good. So these ones failed, so let's make these bigger. I just I just highlighted them, I just clicked and dragged, highlighted all of them, right? I made them bigger, I clicked the, the, the member to make it bigger, right? If you hover over it, I'll say increase the size of selected member. And then I tested. Is it gonna work? That's a slow moving truck. Very slow moving truck. I slowed down the animation a little bit, but just so you guys can see it. So it did work. Now, I know what some people are going to say. Mr. C, the bridge was like bouncing up and down as the truck went, went across it. What's going on with that? Like, I get it. Okay, in the real world, a bridge shouldn't be moving like that. In the animation, it does. It's fun to watch. But in the real world, that obviously wouldn't happen. If it did, it wouldn't last very long. Okay. So just for the sake of argument, we're going to say that this bridge actually worked, but 375,000, we have to get to 285,000. This is the difficult part. We've got to get our bridge down to a price that's acceptable. Okay. And when we get down to that price, the approval here is where I sign off on it. I'm either going to you know, sign it, my initials, or I'll give you a, uh, a stamp or something like that. Okay. So that'll be one of those things that, uh, that depending on the class is how I'll give you that, that approval. All right. So let's figure out how to get this below 285,000. And that's where this 
this whole section comes in over here, okay? Compression force and tension force. You have to understand how this works or none of this is going to make sense. The key to this is getting the bridge to be as efficient as possible for under 285,000. How do we do that? If you look at these numbers here, it says 0.81, this is 0 0.00. We want to get these numbers to 1.00 or below, which means that we want to get them as close to one as possible without going over. Think of it like the price is right. See, this one is 0.99. That means this one is being used, which is number seven right here. That's at its maximum usable strength before it fails. That's what we want. We want them all to be as close to one without going over. Some of these are really not even close to one, 0 0.36, 0 0.36, right? So how do we change that? Well, let's just click on parts one and two here, right? That happens to be these two over here. And let's just highlight these. And what we do is in order to get them to be closer to one, we have to make them smaller. Remember, when we make it smaller, we make it cheaper. And that's what we want to do. We need to bring the cost of this bridge down. So if it's not close to one, like this isn't close to one, it's 0.36, right? We want to make the member smaller. So low numbers make the member smaller. Numbers above one make the member bigger, okay? If it's small, that means it's not using a lot of its strength. It's too big, which is costing us too much money. So we make it smaller. So let's just go one, two, three, four, right? So I highlighted these and I clicked it four times. Now it's going to turn that light shade of gray because now it needs to be retested for us to figure out if it actually worked, okay? Now I just went back and forth and just did that real quick just to save time. Now look at them. They're at 0.69. So I know that it still works and I made it smaller. Let's make them smaller again. Okay, let's see if it works. Okay, now look, they failed. Okay, you can barely read it, but it says 1.08 on both of them. So I know that I just reached the limit of that. So since it failed and highlighted it in blue, you can see here highlighted it in blue, right? That means that it's now it's too small and it failed. So now I have to make it bigger. I'm going to just click and hold, just click and drag, highlight them, make it bigger, and let's test it again. Perfect, it worked. Now look, 0.86. Okay, each one of these remember, has to be as close to one as possible in either column, okay? So remember to look at both columns. Like some people might say, uh, Mr. C, this one's 1.0, but this column is, one point, is 0, 0.00. That's fine. Either one of these columns has to be as close to one as possible without going over, okay? In some cases, like this one, you'll have, you'll have numbers in both. That means at some point it's under compression and tension, all right? So how do you find... Like, how do you look for this without going through all 42 pieces? How do you make this easier? Let me show you a little trick. If I click here, right, notice it bumped all the zeros to the top. Okay, if I clicked here, it bumped all the zeros to the top. And it changed all the numbers over here too, right? So it put them in a different order. So what you want to do is if you do this and you click, and like, for instance, it put the highest number here, which is 1.0. If we look here, right, we want to figure out which ones are not, are not anywhere near that 1.0 and make them smaller because they're costing us too much money. So watch what I'm going to do. Like 0.4, like all these. Notice I'm looking at both columns now, not just this column. All these are really like nowhere near one, like 0.42, right? There's, I mean, look at how, look at these. Wow. And it's costing us a lot of money. So let's make them smaller right? Which makes them a little bit weaker. Yes, but also makes it cheaper. Let's go one, two, three, four. Okay. Now I'm down to 302,000. Let's just see if this works. Okay. So here's an interesting thing that happens. When I make one part of the bridge weaker or stronger, it might make another part of the bridge weaker or stronger. And that's what makes the, the, the program complex, right? We didn't touch these ones, but if you notice, these ones now have failed. So what do we do? We highlight them. Let's make them bigger by one. Now it works. What's our price? 304000 Okay. And what we do is we go back and forth between these two and we find numbers that are nowhere near 1.0 and we just make them, make the member smaller, which makes it cheaper, which will bring this number up. Okay. So let's go one, two, three. Look at this 290,000. We're getting close, but 
does it work, right? Okay, everything worked except for this one. So now let's highlight this one, which is member number 36. Let's make it bigger. Let's try it again, okay? I'm just going back and forth real quick to speed up time so you don't have to watch this video forever. 292,000. We're getting close to that magical number, all right? Let's find some other numbers that are really, really low here. Look at this. These, look at, look at these. All these right here. I'm just clicking and dragging, by the way. All these, we could probably bring these down. Look, 283,000. Here's the thing. Does it work, though? All right, let's watch the animation. Let's... Let's see if this works. Oh, no, it looks really red right here. That means it's under a lot of stress. That's a lot of compression. Oh, no, it failed. Okay. So, again, what we do is we take this, bring it up. Let's try again. Okay. Look. Look at our number, 284,000. Is that below 285? It absolutely is. Now, that being said... When we look at this, right, the bridge is still moving, all right? Stuff is really, you know, under a lot of tension, a lot of compression, but it still worked, okay? We met the requirements, so this bridge is good to go, all right? Now, that means that I've met the requirements for this bridge. Raise your hand, show it to me. I'm going to come over, make sure it's yours. Okay, I'll look down here, make sure your name and stuff are on it. And then uh, I'm going to have you save it, all right? Now, usually in the beginning of this, I have you save. I just didn't show you for the sake of time. Let me just show you how to save this if you haven't done it already, all right? And you should always save in the beginning. I'm going to go to File, Save As. You click on this PC, and at the bottom, you should see what looks like your initials and then that, that password, excuse me, those six digits that they give to you that looks like the start of your email address, okay? Because that's it is. That's your X drive. You're gonna save it in here. So you click where you see your, your initials and that six digit number, click open, and then you're going to right click, new folder, and label it technology. Okay, so it won't let me label it because I already have a folder labeled technology in here, right? Which is right there. When inside of your technology folder, you're going to save this as your last name, underscore first name, underscore color of your class or period, whatever I tell you to save it as, and then what it was. So this was a uh, Pratt through. Okay. Save bridge design as, and now it's saved. Okay. So to wrap up, we got the bridge under 285,000. You're going to raise your hand and on your sheet, I'm going to come around and I will sign off on it or give you the stamp. All right. And then you can move on to the next one. Now, the next one is the same set up the same exact way, except you're going to do the deck trust Pratt, right? The, the Pratt deck instead of the Pratt through uh, the, the, the through trust Pratt. Okay. So the first one is, uh, is done here. The second one is done exactly the same. All right. Good luck. And uh, let me know if you have any questions.